no, something's devouring our raspberry. What is this? It's the raspberry uh, sawfly. And what is this little bugger? So raspberry sawfly is a particular um, wasp that that likes raspberries and blackberries, but especially raspberries. Originally, as you can see, some of the damage looks similar to to slugs or snail, but it kept on coming out here and I didn't see anything. Um, I was moving the leaves and then I found uh, these little teeny kind of hairy little worm things that are kind of greenish gray. And I did some research um, and the choices were uh, soap and water, which kills them right away. You just use like dish soap, or what we like to do is use uh, Bronner's Dr. Bronner's, pep Dr. Bronner's uh, peppermint soap. So, love that stuff. And we just spray the the bottom of the leaves, right? And you can spray the bottom of the leaves. Um, but um, with the sun and the, it seemed to be struggling, I was a little worried that maybe the strawberries would the raspberries. I mean, excuse me, the raspberry would have some problems uh, maybe adjusting it. Same thing with the neem. Sometimes the neem can burn the leaves. Especially we have um, so much sun here. It's very intense at 7,000 feet above sea level that we were afraid that it was going to damage the, the leaves, the foliage. So what I went with the option, the other option was Bt, which is a um, natural bacteria that, that's in the soil. Um, what they do is they reproduce it and they make it in, in higher concentrations and you spray it on the leaves of the plant. It doesn't harm people. Um, you can wash it off. So what we did is we sprayed all the leaves and as you can see, um, we have less damage. There's new growth and that's how we know that it's working because the new growth so far, it's not munched on. What's very important and I'll show you what these little boogers look like. And I'll show the tip of my finger just so that you have a reference of the size of these guys. But for the most part, we couldn't figure out what was eating our raspberries. So now that we know and we know how to treat it and we know this is working for us, maybe it'll work for you. So if your raspberries look like ours, if you can't find the culprit, maybe these are the guys. So just move the leaves a little, see if they drop, and if you see these guys, then you can use either soapy water, neem, or Bt. But for us, the Bt worked, and it's not a huge amount. It's a very small amount of Bt, and it's just so when they munch on the leaf, well, they die. But if you have a healthy ecosystem and you have predator uh, bugs, you might want to just leave nature do its thing. For us, it was just getting too drastic that we didn't know if the predator bugs were going to get here on time um, because they were eating the raspberry really quickly. And then they soon moved to the other bigger one we have, which is the uh, raspberry shortcake. We have two of those. One smaller that has been struggling to catch up with the first one. We got them at different places, so that's why. But overall, it seems to be working and hopefully it'll continue. It's been raining a lot, so we've been having to spread this almost every day, right? Yep. And so, well, if this works, I hope it works for you. This is some of the older growth, which was newer by the time we started spraying BT. And this is the most recent. You can see the difference in color, and that's how you can tell, plus the size. And it's not longer being attacked. Now, the important thing here is not to lower your guard because these little guys can just come up again, all of a sudden, from another plant and start munching on your raspberry again. So we would just continue spraying it for maybe a week or so. Um, I could be wrong, but about that much, just to make sure that they're not coming back because there's still a little bit of damage, but it's on the older leaves. You know, you can see it right there. But ideally, you just want to make sure that they're gone before you lower your guard because these guys could be so quick sometimes that they can devour your plant in a couple of days and you wouldn't even notice. So right now we're having an issue with a gooseberry with another type of pest that we're dealing with, also using the BT, but those were going really fast. So like those, 
even though the caterpillars are bigger than these ones, um, you just want to keep paying attention to your plants. MBT well did work really well. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it was informative for you and it actually helps you out if you're having this problem. And remember, if you're growing with us, we grow together. So please hit that subscribe button if you want to know what we're up to and find out more tips about things we've resolved in our garden, things that might work for you. And if you think this video is helpful for someone else, don't hesitate to share. We really appreciate all your support and help. So until next time. Wait. Crimson. Crimson. Crimson something. North? Night? Wait, hold on. Crimson night. Ah. Oh no! Here, just grab it and then we'll put it back okay. in there. Okay, hold Crimson. on, hold on, hold on, because I need to reset myself. Okay. Oh no! Something's been eating our raspberries! Just say the name of this way already. <laughs>